before Zack Snyder ruined him. Michael Keaton was the best Batman, while Christian Bale was just a dead man. No one remembers the other ones. Princess Leia in bikinis, and transformer Lamborghinis. Please don't let child of the roof ever act again. Please, God, no. Remembering tales from the crypt, back when Michael Bay wrote good scripts. He wrote good All right here is no mystery. It's the history of bad. It's bad. It's the history of bad. So bad. It's the history of bad ideas. It's the history of bad. It's bad. It's the history of bad. It's so bad. It's the history of bad ideas. Oh, yes. This episode of Hobie is sponsored by Hello Jeff. Save 20% off your first meal box with promo code HobiePod. Please note that any comments, jokes, questions, maybe, anything that we say on the History of Bad Ideas is all in good fun. And remember, we insult everybody. Our thoughts, opinions, questions, anything else, actions that we do on the show do not reflect any of our employers, organizations, advertisers, or anyone else that is associated with the History of Bad Ideas. And remember, at the end of the day, it's just a joke. Welcome to the History of Bad Ideas, episode number 476. I'm Jason. I'm Jeff. I'm Blake. I'm Jim. And I'm Brian. And welcome to a new episode. Uh, we got one of the first floppy bribes of the year, Brian. What did we get here? We have a Fruity Pebbles no-bake cheesecake. If you go to our Facebook page at the History of Bad Ideas podcast, uh, you will see it. And it looks amazing. Who is this from again, Brian? I'm sorry. Uh, this is from Marbles. Marbles. Yes. Okay. Ms. Marbles. Ms. Marbles. And she wants the Canadian of the Year Award that Brian Auer has this year. She's also re- trying to redeem herself from the turkey and gravy soda. That quite possibly was the nastiest thing I tasted, and that was just like a little bit of a sip. Oh, Thank goodness I missed that. Oh. We got another bottle right there, Blake, if you want it. Nope. We can open it. We cannot. Ah, oh. not even to make Blake drink. If we okay. open it, he has to drink. And then ruin this thing. fruity pebble <laughs> masterpiece. Uh, what do you guys say about this uh, fr- fruity pebbles, Blake? Well, me, you know, this may bring you guys up to like a neutral perspective, but I'm definitely one over. That cream? I don't know what that cream is. Is it like? It's a very light cheesecake. Cake. It's it's a fluffy. cream cheese and it's whipped. Yeah, whipped. yeah. Maybe it's just like the texture. It's really good. I mean, that is amazing. Woo! Kind of looks like a Rice Krispie treat on the bottom made of Fruity Pebbles. That's what it is. Yep. And then you got the uh, whipped cream, cheese, uh, whipped cheesecake, and then you got a little bit more on top. That is impressive. I like it. So, that's a good way to start it off. So, Brian, tell Ms. Marbles thank you. Why don't you just tell her right now? Great. Thank you, Ms. Marbles. You know, we also do have other bribes coming in. Rumor has it, somebody I know is writing another song for Hobie. Mm, whoa. He's a musician. He has a band. We can't tell them tell who the band is until they send it in, because they don't get free publicity until it's in. Um, but he did compliment the, our theme song, though, from Dr. Bednar. So, uh, it's but a good song. Dr. Bednar's band is at Southgate House Friday night. Okay. What time? Doors open at 8, they play at 9. Okay. Dr. Bednar uh, and the Teeth. Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. Something like that. Yes, okay. Uh, so not only can you see Dr. Bednar play in his band, afterwards you can ask him some doctor questions, some medical questions. Um, just stay by and ask him. And some love questions. Oh, he does love the Isn't love he questions. he doctor of love, he is. too? Uh, Blake, could you get on Dr. Bednar to show up one day? Sure. He's a, he's a very busy person. His, I know his services are always in demand. But can you, this is your job as a booker? Yeah. I need you to book it. He's yeah. too busy playing softball. I'll get him. <laughs> yeah, I'll get him on as soon as after I get Jason C. Brown back on, like I was supposed to several months ago. You have one job to do, Blake. <laughs> you get to book two people a year. <laughs> two people a year. Oh. Bednar hasn't been on in like five years. Mm-hmm. That's your job. Two t- two jobs a year. You don't even show up to the expo. Oh, wait, damn it, you did this year. Damn it. <laughs> uh, we do want to say a happy birthday to uh, Andrew, a.k.a. Andy, from the Cincinnati Comic Expo. 
Uh, he had a birthday last week, so uh, late last week. So happy birthday, Andrew. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy uh, belated. Speaking of that, you know, you can get your tickets at CincinnatiComicExpo.com. Not yet, but soon. <laughs> uh, get your VIP tickets. Lots of great guests are going to be there. Can we can we ask Andrew this year if we can mm. get our own motorized cart? Yes, yes. Six of them. Yeah. Problem is it would go as fast as the one in the Book of Boba Fett. <laughs> um, and then, yeah. Just, the motorcycle chase? Yes. <laughs> uh, Faster than the ballistic X versus Sever motorcycle chase. Ballistics colon. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I forgot the colon. Yes. Um, you know, this year at the Cincinnati Comic Expo, possibility uh, of Harry Hamlin going to be there. No. Uh, Mark nope. Hamill. Nope. Uh, Harry Anderson. Uh, uh, definitely not. <laughs> uh, Willie Anderson. Uh, Flipper Anderson. Uh, I'm trying to think who else is going to be there. Uh, Hans Christian. Anderson. <laughs> That's right. I hope Willie gets inducted to the uh, Pro Football Hall of Fame this year. He deserves it. Uh, Scott Rowland just got inducted today. The so. Pro Football Hall of Fame? Yes, Pro oh. Football Hall of Fame. Now that's an honor. <laughs> uh, yeah, so get your tickets inside ComicExpo.com. Hobie will be there. Cinema Guys will be there. Uh, so come on down. Uh, rumor has it Randall Holt will be there. Uh, so Scab Randall. Lots of, bi- lots of big names there. Lots of big names. So Cincinnati Comic Expo, September 22nd through the 24th. Get your tickets soon. Um, that was a tasty piece of pie. Did you like it, Jeff? I did. I am now licking the plate. Oh, uh, be a mature person. Why? I don't know. Uh, I like I liked your uh, I like your shirt there, but Jeff, w- what is that? It's my uh, rock paper scissors lizard Spock shirt. Where'd you get that from? Uh, got that at Gen Con. Oh, is that Umbe? Whatever it is, I don't know. What is that? Read the back. Read the back, Blake. Umba. Umba. Challenge for everyone. We interviewed them. Episode number... Something or other. Yeah. Um, go back and look at that one. Um, they were supposed to take over um, Online. virtual uh, gaming. Um, Wizards of the Coast bought them out, though. <laughs> so that did not go over well. So then they're in trouble. Yes. So. In Hasbro. Are you feeling better this week about it, Blake? Kind of. Okay. Or it really doesn't matter to me because I'm anachronistic. I know I'm playing 3.5 still anyway, so okay. it don't matter to me. No. But what did matter is if they're going to kill the VTTs or not. Brian and I were very mad about that. Oh, man. We couldn't even play this week because yeah, of it. I was so mad. I, I just, I'm thinking about retiring and all together. So, uh, but, but I shared that video on our chat or whatever, uh-huh. so you yeah. guys are all caught up now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you understand all the ins Perfectly. and outs going on. Perfectly. Okay. Uh, we actually wrote that, co-wrote that, Brian and I. Did no, you? Yeah. No, you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we did not, oh. Jason. Sorry. Uh, but, Brian, you didn't play D&D this week with me, but no, I heard I you have you. a new member of the family. Uh, we do have a new member of the family. Six-month-old uh, Rocky. Okay. What kind a of dog? Golden Retriever Great Pyrenees Mix. Very beautiful dog. He is quite a handsome little boy. He is. Wait, can we edit that out? Because I just said handsome little boy, and I don't... No, what? that's actually the name of the episode. Oh! Uh, what is that? Thank God for little girls, or what's that song? <laughs> <laughs> Thank heavens for little Whatever. girls. Whatever. Um, no, he is a very handsome dog. Uh, How's he like the snow? He loves being outside in general, so I, I know he's a Pyrenees. <laughs> uh, loves the snow. I'm excited to get him out tomorrow. Okay. How does Bowie think of him? Uh, Bowie is very indifferent to having a much younger dog than him in the house. How old is Bowie? Uh, he's like four, just a little over four. Okay. Is Bowie named after the knife or David? Uh, David. Okay. Jim. Uh <laughs> Dr. Dana named him. Okay. As what did the cats think of? Uh, they hate him. <laughs> <laughs> Which is exactly what we expected. They have taken to living in the basement. Do, does he chase them? He doesn't chase them so much as he's he doesn't Eats know them? how to play with them. Oh, okay. So and his paws are like the size of their head. So he goes like whomp 
and just like smacks them in the head, and they're not they're not okay with it. And you got him as a rescue. We did rescue him from where? Um, Stray Animal mm-hmm. Adoption Program. S A P. Uh, SAP. Yep. Yep. For short, uh, we got our last dog, uh, our old dog there, Sarah. Yeah, Sarah. Yep, they are a wonderful local organization. Uh, we actually partner with them at work as well. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm happy to support, keep supporting them. Good. Uh, I think you're going to need to tomorrow when the snow's down, because we're going to have a snowstorm tonight. Uh, I think you're going to have to put some uh, pictures up on the History of Bad Ideas Facebook page. And uh, try to I'll get some. send them to you. Okay. So you can do that, because I don't have that login. Why? I don't know. Can't you, you never... switch on your account for Facebook? Did you give him permission to log yeah. in? Oh. I think so. You post on there, don't you? I do not. On our Facebook page? Guess where you have. Oh, yeah. I'm in. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you post on there. What? Usually. No, at... I, it's Instagram that I, I, it's one of those meta companies that I can't, I can't get into our Instagram. Anymore. I'll be honest. If I get kicked out of Instagram, I don't know what our password is. Uh, I'm not in charge of that. Yeah, but you can always get a password sent to the your email. It's not to my email though. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> I think Doctor. I think Doug got, has that one. I think it's to the history of bad ideas email. Oh, that's never going to happen. <laughs> we may need to start a brand new one. <laughs> um, okay, just get some dog pictures going because that's always a good thing. Uh, yes, I I most certainly will continue that trend. Nothing of, wrong with that. Of turning my personal Facebook. I was going to say puppy account. Throw it on the Hobie page. We don't mind Uh, because most of our Sylvester Stallone news is from you. So that is correct. Um, That is what he is named after. Did Shocker. I know. Uh, Hobie came up with 22 other names. Uh, Dr. Dana did not appreciate those names. 20 of them. She looked at me as if she was going to stab me in my sleep. (laughs) Okay. She didn't like Arthur or Spence. Uh, she, well, she, she giggled at those, but. <laughs> what about Riggins? Um, that is his middle name. Oh, okay. Rocky Riggins. That's actually a pretty cool, one. I like that name. Yep. That flows. That yep. flows. Okay. Um, well, so congrats. She did not want Clubber, uh, Clubber Lang or, uh, Thunderlips. <laughs> she, she did not, uh, Or want... Tommy Gunn. Uh, I honestly didn't even bother her with Tommy Gunn. Because <laughs> as I said t- to you in the chat, I would rather return him than name him Tommy Gunn. <laughs> Not really. That's what, they, that's what the writers of Rocky Five said, too. Probably should have returned this guy. Damn it. Yeah. Is that guy still alive? The real Tommy Gunn? No, he passed no. away uh, 2015, roughly. Oh, okay. Okay. Tommy Morrison. Tommy Morrison. Yep. He was not allowed to box because he was diagnosed with uh, HIV. Mm-hmm. And... He was later then re-diagnosed, and he didn't have it, and so he ended up suing the doctor yeah. for misdiagnosis, but then he ended up dying of, oh. Was this some other blood-related disease? Some other blood-related disease, yeah. Okay. He had something, this wasn't HIV, so he was, but they uh, stopped him from fighting, and that took away any career he had in boxing. Yeah, I think hepatitis C or any blood-borne disease will stop you from fighting. How... Who did he beat? Who was his big name that he beat? Uh, Rocky Balboa. I watched. Oh, okay, God, thank you. Sorry, yeah. my bad. Yeah, Rocky Five. <laughs> that was his only <laughs> claim to fame. My bad. You know, if you punch me, Brian, I'll sue. Sue what? Boom. End of Rocky Five. <laughs> the only good part of it. He did hold the WBO heavyweight title in 1993. I thought he did. Yeah. Who did Not he beat? Early, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, he wasn't he uh, like a flash in the pan. He was like um, a Buster Douglas. Yeah, yeah. Who knocked out Tyson, <clears throat> which fucked up WWE's Saturday Night's main event because Mike Tyson back in the nineties he was supposed to be the special referee and or special enforcer, and they had him booked. And the week before he lost to Buster Douglas, and they're like, "Well, let's get Buster in here." Yeah. yeah. So they got Buster Douglas in for Saturday Night's main event. <laughs> Uh, within a week's, a couple weeks' notice. That's right. Just didn't have the same ring to it, though. Oh, special enforcer Buster Douglas. Yay! Like Mike Tyson has that, you know, stigma or that. I don't know. I think the name Buster is more intimidating than Mike. That is a, it is a fun one. He won the belt from George Foreman. 
Okay. Eat George Foreman. He yeah. got the belt, and then he got a grill. <laughs> you know, speaking of fun names, you just said, you know, with Buster, mm-hmm. uh, my wife found a new favorite uh, football player uh, for the uh, Buffalo Bills, Boogie Basham. She loves that name. <laughs> Loves that name. So she's a Boogie fan, huh? B- much, yes. Boogie Basham. That's a fun name. Better than Booger McFadden or whatever that guy's name is. McFarland. Whatever. <laughs> How does that guy have that nickname? <clears throat> he was a big fan of... Uh, Cocaine. Oh, I was <laughs> Revenge, Revenge of the Nerds. Revenge of the Nerds. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Allegedly, Brian. Allegedly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Uh, anybody watch anything? Oh, let's go ahead. Let's move on. He, he then went on Tommy Morrison. Tommy Morrison to sign a uh, fight to fight Lennox Lewis, mm-hmm. the WBC champion. And but before that, he had a fight with uh, uh, Michael Bent, and Michael Bent just beat the snot out of him. Michael knocked Bent him down him three times, ninety-seven seconds into the first round. Did he lose times? his title to and him? He lost the title to him. Michael Bent. <laughs> wow. The loss cost Morrison his title shot against Lewis, as well as reported seven and a half million to do a set oh. fight. Oh. Mm. Who the hell's Michael Bent? Exactly. <laughs> like Did Michael heard... Bent get to fight uh, Lewis then? Is it, so it was because of that. He, after that, he went and got AIDS, HIV. No, that Allegedly. that was just him losing. Oh. That was just him losing. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Good wow. job, Michael Bent. There's your fun fact about boxing this week. There's your Tommy Morrison update. Don't forget that Hobie has a boxing <laughs> podcast <laughs> coming on the Hobie Network called Ring right the Hulk. Bell. Well, What'd Tommy, you say? I said right hook. <laughs> oh, yeah, right hook is better. Right throw, right. Th- throw the towel. <laughs> throw in the ah, towel. Throw in the damn towel. Throw in the damn towel. Uh, Tommy Morrison update. Still dead. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Brian. You're welcome. Uh, anybody watch? This guy here is dead. <laughs> then cross him off. Cross him <laughs> off, then. <laughs> um, yes, to answer your question, Jason, yes. yes. What would you watch? Uh, the Season two of The Legend of Vox Machina started this past weekend. Okay. And it is excellent. What's it on? It is on uh, Amazon Prime. Mm-hmm. And there is a lot of dragons doing a lot of messing shit up. Okay. They kill a lot of people. Okay. So it's an uplifting. A lot of people. Are the dragons bad? They are in this. Okay. Not all dragons are, but the dragons of the Chroma Conclave are. So are there good dragons in this, too? Not yet. Okay. Okay. Don't want to spoil it. Chromatic dragons are evil. What about metallic dragons, Blake? They're good. It's a D and D joke. It's not a joke. Oh, okay. And what's this based on? You think somebody who beat the game would know a little bit about, about dragons? dragons. We, yes. sk- we skipped the metal dragons. <clears throat> we went right to the folk singers, the folk uh, folksy uh, dragons. The folk singer dragons. Yeah, folksy. I might say folksy. I don't know. Why. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I thought it was the bearded dragons you went. Yeah, for. That's what we did. <laughs> no, those are the bearded clams they went for. <laughs> We had a lot of geckos in that game, too. A lot of geckos. Well, um, I mean, we were our team was sponsored by Geico. <laughs> That's true, it was. Because we were so good at it. Right. You mean so you've been good. playing an animated Geico commercial game this entire time? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm uh, leaning to thinking that they actually did not play Dungeons & Dragons now. <laughs> There's a lot of cars in it, too. <laughs> Kept trying to give it over the highway. I don't know what was going on. It's a lot. It was Are weird. Are you telling me we've been playing Frogger this entire time? <laughs> <laughs> no, no wonder, wonder we beat it. <laughs> And it was just the first level. <laughs> well, that second level, the log moves really fast. Yeah, those cars are flying. And those dragons come out of the water really quick. Alligators. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Man, what? we were way off. I'll be honest, that kind of makes sense, Brian, why the whole side of the arcade said Frogger. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Well, I guess the truth can be told. <laughs> Guess we never did beat D and D. Damn it! But damn, we got the high score in Frogger. Yes, we did. <laughs> Higher than George Costanza. We did. Ours is still standing. Yeah, well, our our game didn't get destroyed in the middle of uh, Park Avenue. Yeah, yeah. Or whatever. <laughs> New York Street. 
<laughs> New York <laughs> Street. <laughs> Is there a street named New York? Just yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it's right down the street from my favorite uh, authentic New York pizza place, Sabaro. Oh, <laughs> good call. Good call. <laughs> what street are you on? New York and where? New York and what state? New York. <laughs> the nexus of the universe. Oh, okay. Anybody else watching anything <laughs> besides <the> Office? <laughs> Oh, I mean, I I never not watching that. I watched the next episode of Velma. Oh, are you outraged? I I did watch the first three episodes of Velma. Are you outraged? Not at all. Are you outraged? No, I'm I'm a little annoyed at people who are outraged. But you screwed up Scooby Doo. No, no, no they didn't. <laughs> but they so- didn't kill your childhood. It's just a different take. Playing for, uh, you know, yeah. ironic laughs. That's all. Uh, Scooby's not in it, right? No. He's not, right? Okay. <laughs> not as of yet, anyway. Well, the whole thing is, I guess, this is what uh, they said, is uh, that... There's about a drug deals and violence. Oh, yeah, shot in the legs. Yes. yes, there is. <laughs> I mean... Th- this th- is not your childhood Scooby-Doo. No, I don't think it was meant to be. There are teenage girls who have had their brains yeah. removed, so... Yes, there is some violence. So she want Mindy Kaling wanted to make a teenage animated <clears throat> serial killer like mystery, and HBO said we need you to we'll do it, but you need to do it as as Scooby Doo. <laughs> we want we want a different take as that. And she's like, well, that's fine, but I don't want Scooby in it because it's going to take away from it. And they're like, okay, fine, whatever, just use the character. So basically, she they, she got greenlit because <laughs> HBO wanted an adult version of Scooby Doo without Scooby. And so that's why it's like that. So did the people who are complaining, did they also complain yes. in the 90s when a pup named Scooby-Doo was out? Well, they did, but nobody heard them. They had to write letters to the network. Oh, that must have been Yeah. It. And we didn't hear about it. You know why? Because there was no fucking social media back then. <laughs> Unless you chain-lettered. That's true. That's true. <laughs> and, and there's not 4,000... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> "Quote unquote journalistic magazines online that will write anything to get people to look at it." Clickbait. Talk Click. about. Now I'm going back to the 1990s, and I would love to see a chain letter mail that you get. Are you as upset about Scooby, a pup named Scooby Doo, as me? <laughs> if you don't forward this to ten people, Scooby's gonna die. <laughs> That's right. That's how it worked back in the day. <laughs> Damn you, pup! Don't kill the dog. <laughs> Kill Robin. If uh, you don't send this, you hate dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Not as much as I hate pup named Scooby Doo. <laughs> God. Um, is it a decent show? Yeah, I, I laugh during it. I mean, it's okay. I'll continue watching it. Okay. I hope they give it a second season just to get more people pissed off. I I hope they give it like ten seasons to piss people <laughs> off. I don't get that. <laughs> like. People are really upset. But then is it really a lot, or is it like 1,900 people on Twitter? Well, they're really angry that, at Mindy Kaling because the jokes that she, that she the, the character she plays, tend to be, uh, like, Asian uh, women <clears throat> who... Uh, Southeast Asian. Southeast yeah. Asian women who tend to like white men mm-hmm. and... Wait, wait. She's writing about what she knows. <laughs> Didn't she date B.J. Novak like off and on for 30 years? I know her character. But and his in character, real life, she did, too. Did she? Yeah. 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 But, yeah. Uh, but again, she's, she was a Southeast Asian woman going to what, Harvard? Yeah. Yeah. Who, who's she going to Harvard with? A bunch of white guys. Yeah. What? At Harvard? At Harvard. There wow. are white guys at Harvard. I mean, I could get that from Dartmouth, but never Harvard. She found all five? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I. We've talked about this off air. Like, it is ridiculous. Like, how many people are upset about a fucking cartoon? Yeah, don't but, watch. But, but how how much of it is is just bots? You know, I, I, you know. Apparently, you know, a lot of it is, and and people, you know, nowadays yeah. just read headlines and forward this and say, "Oh, I'm outraged too," and you know, you don't read the content because you don't want to click on it because you know the nine thousand so called yeah. journalists. You know, web you know applications, websites are out there just looking for a click so you, they get their you know feed for their advertisement. You know, a lot of it's I think a lot of it's just bullshit. Tell you the truth, and, and the writing's piss poor in it because Brian doesn't have time 
to go through every single one of these uh, I articles. Can't. I just articles. can't. <laughs> I don't have time them. to edit the Scooby Daily Mail dot com. <laughs> Chain mail don't. letters, you can. Do, do, do you know what I read the other day? What's that? Uh, uh, sometime last week, I read <clears throat> an online article that was well written. What? And uh, appeared to have been proofread by somebody. Either that or the You're you welcome. Know, writer was, was, was good enough to not make stupid mistakes. How difficult but, is it not to just, or how difficult is it to hit spell check and grammar? Um, you mean it was actually written by ChatGPT? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I don't believe you, Jeff. You did not find a unicorn. Oh, I did. Was it on BuzzFeed? Um, well, I think I got. I think, uh, God, what did I find it on? I don't know if it was Facebook or what, but... Well, it couldn't have been. <laughs> <laughs> maybe Twitter, maybe someone... Ah, it couldn't be that either. <laughs> what was it, what was it, it about? It was about football. It was about the NFL. Oh, okay. Maybe. Was it Tumblr? But a guy may, was making points about what happened in the, the first week of the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And every thought he had was well thought out, well written to explain what he meant, and it was more than just like two lines or something. It was like... Several paragraphs for each point he was making, and I'm like, I find it hard to believe that this is an online article. You forgot what it was like to read an enjoyable article. Yeah, wait, wait. you know, kind of like like what Sports Illustrated might have done. You yeah. know, you'd read really? a, a back did he, in the day. Did he attack uh, fan bases and tell people that their team sucks because some no. random reason. No. He didn't talk about fan bases really at all. He talked about what happened on the field and. And you know the did at the bottom did it say if you see a spelling error please fix it for us? might have been at the bottom <laughs> I didn't read all the way to the end you know okay Brian good job you're doing God's work out there editing Look, these I I'm doing the best that I can <laughs> it's it's challenging <laughs> and the other like Mindy Kaling hate they talk about the other show that we watch on HBO Max Re uh, Real Sex Lives Real Sex Wives Lives what? of College Girls hilarious they, show they bitch about the character Bella. Why? Because she is a Southeast Asian woman who likes sex, who date, who tends to be attracted towards white men. Again, they're at a uptight like school where it's pretty much ninety percent white people. <laughs> Are they upset? Yes. <laughs> I'll just end on that. There you go. That's a really good show. It's funny mm -hmm. for a myriad of stupid reasons. Yes, that really shouldn't upset people. No, I just don't get it. Like. Why waste your like? Why are you, why are you so upset about? It? I mean, we we joke on this show, but like, I couldn't imagine like starting a petition. I, I can't imagine living in a life where all I have to do is you know, you know, or, shit shovel shit of hate at people all day and get paid for it. I don't even have time to watch good shows, let alone bitch about bad shows. Yeah. So here's, like, the, I want to get paid. for Yeah, that, but, but think think of how miserable I'm your doing life that for free. Think of how miserable your life really must be. I mean. Yeah. Or Seriously, boring. One or the yeah, other. It might be boring. Horrible. So, in more news about shit you can find all over the internet is there was an article I read about a like a Norwegian uh, trans group who is going after to get Aretha Franklin's "Natural Woman" taken off all playlists. Oh, Lord. Oh, Aretha, I, you know, I just because, read this story. Is this a real story? You got to read to the end. That's the kicker. And then at the end, then they also said that they wanted Moulin Rouge song taken off because only cis white women can be prostitutes or sex workers. And this is brought, this was run picked up by New York Times, by Source and a few other places. No, no, it's, it's all and, it's all and, a fucking joke. And, and tons of Twitter people yeah. shoveling hate at them uh -huh. too. I was yeah. like, and they're like, we are a parody uh, website. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's all a bunch of talk. We did not mean joke. this for real. <laughs> and and people went with it, and there's a bunch of hate flying out of this. <laughs> well, the best, the one I saw this week. But 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 the fact is, is that there'd been enough of this crazy ass shit out there that people would read that and believe it automatically right off the top because of oh, yeah. all the crazy shit that is out there. Yeah, I long for the days when I can read an onion uh, headline and know no, it's an onion. Yes, headline. exactly. <laughs> no, it's is the onion good. still around? Yes. Yeah. Surprised they haven't been destroyed yet. Oh, good. Their Twitter page is pretty good. Um, I mean, they're just reporting on real stories now. I mean, <laughs> yeah, they're in actual news <laughs> outlet <laughs> now. <laughs> Uh, 
That's who I'm working towards trying to get hired by to be I got editor. you. <laughs> As editor? Yeah. They actually edit their pieces, though. They actually, you can read their piece as well. Yeah. The yeah. best one uh, this week yeah. was... Always get always pay for the Grammarly add-on to your Word documents. <laughs> it's free on most things now. <laughs> yeah. Hell, the, the company that we use for our podcast, it's free when you're doing your description. Correct. Still screw it up. Um, <laughs> well, it, hel- it helps when you don't write the description before we talk about what? it. <laughs> What? So, so yeah. you know when you when you phonetically spell out charcuterie, Jason, <laughs> charcuterie. <laughs> so here's some some onion headlines on their Twitter page for the articles. Astronaut Buzz Aldrin marries longtime hallucination of sexy space babe. <laughs> That's real, by the way. <laughs> Biden claps in amazement after FBI agent pulls classified document from behind his ear. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Conservatives defend their right to have gas stoves, and then they have. Uh, the, the, the quotes, making a grilled cheese sandwich on an electric stove is exactly world stolen envisioned. <laughs> <laughs> so we are three That's for true. Th- <laughs> we are three for three on true articles. Or electricity is for the libs from Samuel Kaufman, Amish furniture craftsman. <laughs> <laughs> Can be any louder down there, Brian? Any louder? Ah, uh, we're gonna get that one star now. So I'm shooting for it. Um, We've had it too good for too long. I will say that. But, but then you'll have to, when they write the review, you'll have to edit their uh, review because it'll probably not. Job security, baby. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Jeff. Minority of murders committed by someone victim didn't know, but could have if they had gone out and socialized more. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Uh, the, the, the hate this week on Twitter, oh, the, no. the, the hashtag was save uh, Splash Mountain. Hashtag save Splash Mountain. Why? Because after 50 fucking years or whatever it is, they're changing Splash Mountain, which has Br'er Rabbit and Song of the South stuff. I know it's not technically Song of the South stuff in there, but that thing may not be the most... Well, Br'er Rabbit's from Song of the South. Yeah, but, you know, maybe not the best looking thing if you're a Disney company. They're changing it over. Why? Well, first off, they're changing it over to the Princess and the Frog, Tiana, ride. Why? Because it actually lends itself to that movie. Yeah. But heaven forbid we fucking change it. And now there was a hashtag going that was trending that, how dare you take away my childhood? This it's You're 70 years old. Who the hell cares? We're giving childhood to children. No, you can't do that. We're letting children experience something that they can relate to. How dare you, Jim? You're taking away my childhood. Just go to Universal. <laughs> Pay for the speed pass. Good call. But then again, and, and these rides need to be updated. They, they yes, it's fit, like uh, like <clears throat> when the uh, Kings Island here in town tore down the Vortex uh, mm-hmm. roller coaster. <gasps> they tore that down. <laughs> yeah, what? A lot of people were upset about it, but they're like the average lifespan of like a roller coaster was like fifteen years. Yeah, I mean it had already like four years past. It was uh, like twenty. It's, it's it was twenty five years. Or, yeah. Uh, you know what they should have done? Everyone that complained about the Vortex, just let them ride it continuously. Uh, Let's see, put your money where your mouth is here, people. Uh, Go we're ahead. We're going to let you ride the beast. Or no, ride the bat. <laughs> uh, well, or, you can because they changed the name of Top Gun to the bat. Yes. Did they? Yeah. No. Uh-huh. Here, I really want to uh, do Flight Commander. Uh-huh. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so save Splash Mountain. You know what, though, Jim? What the shocking part was? Disney didn't change. <laughs> With all this tweet, these tweets, I thought a billion dollar company, multi billion dollar company, would cave to like two thousand people online. Uh, thank, Shocked. Thank goodness that uh, the evil empire will not cave to. Uh... But you gotta admit, like people are like, "Oh, how dare they change it?" It's like uh, this has been like a multi million dollar change in their amusement park ride. Yeah. They're not going to fucking change that. Hey, you know, they should have jumped on with me when I boycotted them and they took out the guns at Frontierland when I could shoot the people in the boats. You can't? Ah. That was water guns. Those were cap guns. Oh. Could you do that? That'd be pretty cool. Don't you shoot water guns on Jungle Cruise? Yeah, you could do that too. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. It's a great ride. Great ride. The hotels there are great too. I will say that. What about the movie? Jungle Cruise. I enjoyed the Jungle Cruise movie. Um, I enjoyed it. I so. did not hate it. Yeah. Which is 
glowing praise. <laughs> it was on the poster. It was. <laughs> Jim of Hobie says, I didn't hate it. And people yeah. flocked because of that. Yes. For The Rock? Eh, maybe. But uh, speaking of films, we had um, Twitter poll of the week at Bad Ideas Podcast. We had, besides the original Scream film, because Scream 6 just released their trailer and it's magnificent. Uh, besides the original Scream film, sure. what is your favorite Scream movie? Scream 2, Scream 3, Scream 4, or Scream 2022? Ah! Sorry. Sorry. Jim, wake up. Oh, oh. Uh, Scream three, 4 lost with 13%. <laughs> Scream, th- uh, Scream from 2022 was 14%. Screw you. I think Scream, Scream is going to lose here. Scream 3 was 20%, which, screw you. Come on, people. Scream 3 was a piece of shit. And Scream 2 wins with 53%. I beg to differ, but Scream 2 is good. Did anybody in this room vote on this poll? No. No. But, Jim, we talked about this off air. There's a big controversy on this, too, Blake. Get in this. Ready? Scream 6. Ghostface, the killer. Not the rapper. <laughs> he, <laughs> he used a shotgun... What? To kill somebody in the convenience store in the trailer. Wait, 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 wait. Not a knife? This isn't a fucking slasher film anymore. He used a gun. How dare he? Considering his first kill ever was with a garage door? <laughs> no, no, no. Third kill, Jeff. Third. He did kill Drew Barrymore. He's no longer using household appliances for murder. <laughs> well, they're like... I'm not watching it now. <laughs> This isn't a slasher film. How dare he use a gun? I'm like, this is an actual argument online. And people are mad. I don't know if I'm going to watch it. I've watched the other five, but I don't know if I'm watching this. Because <laughs> yeah, of that. I, <laughs> so now they're going to get me to watch Imagine it, even though I haven't. that opinion and thinking people care. <laughs> I love the Scream films. And the first thing I thought was, that's a pretty cool scene. You I know, have, the way it did. I haven't seen any since Scream 2. And I reluctantly watched that. But now I want to watch it just to piss off the (laughs) anti uh, guns aren't slasher film people. You know what I'm going to do opening night when I watch this in the theaters? When he uses that gun, I'm going to stand up and applaud. That's all I'm going to do. Congratulations. You should live tweet it. Oh, there you go. I've never watched Scream, any of these Screams, from beginning to end, ever. I I actually just watched the newest Scream. I've watched portions of it in like 5 to 10, 15 minutes. Increments, and that's about it. I watched Scream 4 and 5 this week. I think the last one I saw is when the guy came running out of his room and yelled, Stop bother, or don't, and you know not to bother me when I'm trying to clean my room. That's a scary movie. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Which technically, we it's did a scary see, movie, isn't it? We did have a voter ask, Can scary movie count? And I was like, Technically, it was a pretty close to scary to Scream that, that you could get. I mean, I, I usually quit when Ghostface Killer isn't making a cameo appearance. The rapper? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, that's the only reason I watch him. Gotcha. Let's see if he's in there. I'm offended. You haven't he... found him yet? No. But does he use a gun? Can't use a gun. It's not technically a slasher film. You don't see Michael Myers using a gun. Well, no, but he also gouges their eyes out and chokes them. And it's like he uses other things. I don't think Michael Myers has been properly trained on how to use a gun. <laughs> So he at least realizes that a gun in the hands of someone who doesn't know how to use it is a dangerous tool. So he's a responsible killer. Exactly. Yeah, well, he's a child, and the only thing he can get his hands on at that point in time was a knife originally. That's true. And he stuck to it because they liked it so much. That's true. It's okay. He just wanted his machete back. (laughs) No, that's Jason. Oh. He used a sleeping bag one time to kill someone. Uber Jason. but. (laughs) He used a sleeping bag one time, Jeff. That's true. He's not a slasher. He's not a slasher. He's a basher. He actually used a poker, fireplace poker. This is ridiculous. I'm not going to watch it. He's good. <laughs> that really made then me. don't. I, I literally was like, is this the onion tweeting? Nope. It's, it's real people tweeting. See, see, my response is, hey, this movie doesn't really appeal to me. I'm just not going to watch it. What? Yeah. Nope. What? Do you know what? I'm not Wait. angry about it. Just not going to watch it. Nope, I'm protesting. It's bullshit, man. I mean, to be fair, the only movie that I really think that I was mad at that I didn't want to watch was Wonder. So that might be it. Have you watched it since you own it? Is uh, the cell phone wrap off it? <laughs> yes, yes. I took the cell phone off it so you can't return it. Damn it! <laughs> you know our tricks. <laughs> uh, Blake, what do you got for listener feedback over there? Got anything? What, anybody else watch anything? Oh, sorry. We're doing that for you. Uh, come back to me. 
Okay, Brian, uh, Blake, let's do some listener feedback. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> that sound for the bomb listener feedback brought to you by Danger Entertainment. <laughs> and Hobie friend, Miguel Leal. Miguel Leal. He's a freelance writer. You can read his uh, newest uh, article up on Facebook about my PC is dead. Yep. He also is on uh, Penthouse Forums this month, too. Yes. Just letting you know. Actually, it, uh, it's in my pe- in Penthouse Forums as well, too. Gotcha. gotcha. It, was a, it, was kinda, it was a sexy death. You know, my wife thought the neighbor was sexy. And then... <laughs> Sorry. Dear Penthouse, I never thought this would happen to my player character. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw that orc warrior mounting me from behind. <laughs> wow. <laughs> when he took that falcon in both hands. <laughs> well, for more D&D love fat, uh, <laughs> get, right. go to Blake at Graphic Novice. <laughs> I think this is the exact stuff. <laughs> That uh, Wizards of the Coast. <laughs> Coast does not want to be put into a D and D. Big to differ. There's some good money in this. Anyway, we start off with that one guy, dog number one fan, eight pan, dog. Known as. Can't give yourself a nickname. Seven dog, Chili Billy. Ooh, Big D. Dad. Oh, he dog. always he always delivers. Rain, sleet, or snow. Mm-hmm. We'll see you tomorrow, Doug. No, no, we're just going to take off. <laughs> He'll call. <laughs> like Newman. I, I don't, th- I don't <laughs> think snow is in the Postal rain, Creed. Sleet or snow. <laughs> I think it's rain or sleet or dark of night. So Who's they're it? allowed to take off for looking up. Oh, well, I don't really care enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Doug will correct us. What? And apparently, that's not even official. It's not Newman said it. Oh, yeah, I mean, we might have said it, it's but it's not official. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anyways, he says, who would you rather have as a cellmate, Todd Chrisley or Alec Baldwin? Ooh. Alec Baldwin, hands down. Really? Oh, that Chrisley guy just, it's two words out of his mouth, and I would probably get my sentence extended for killing him. Correct. He said that he was framed. Hmm. But by framed, he means he Dude, went Alec ahead Baldwin? and... <laughs> no, no, Chrisley. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he, he went ahead and conned people out of their money, that, that frame job? Well, and didn't pay taxes uh, <laughs> on the money that he supposedly conned. My issue is, though... It's not supposedly he was found guilty in a court of law. It's not alleged anymore. It's true. Well, then. Uh, I'm going to take Todd Chrisley. Why? Because um, if some big bad dudes want to come in... And they're looking for somebody to uh, <laughs> molest. <laughs> Moving on. You're gonna you're gonna Although, sacrifice your Sully. <laughs> the only reason to take Todd Chrisley is because he's sitting in cushy jail. Yeah, he's I, in a cushy jail. I am going to sell him for three <laughs> soups right. and, <laughs> and a cigarette and a cool. No, wait a minute. In the cushy jail, you're going to sell him for a three wood, <laughs> a putter. Oh, there's a three wood involved. <laughs> That's right. And Look, so so I, I looked up that prison where he's going, and there is no golf course. Oh, oh, oh he, he got, got screwed. screwed. He got screwed. Not even a putt putt. Not no no. It is there a Frogger machine? <laughs> uh, they have a a D and D gaming oh, room. That is punishment. <laughs> You will serve your sentence in the D&D room. No! I heard, though, it's hard to play D&D in jail because they don't let you have dice. That's right. You could you use that. Your own. You could use you that four-sided it. die as a uh, weapon. No, you're just, they just don't let you have gambling devices no. when you're in they, jail. They solve everything in paper, rock, scissors. Or the... They paper, rock, scissors, uh, lizard, rock, Spock. lizard, Spock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or they go, what did you roll? 82? Oh, they I rolled an 83. The numbers 1 through 20 into a cup and pull one out. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Where there's a will, there is a way. Where there's a whip, there's a way. I'm triggered now. I'm, I'm not sure what's happening. No, <laughs> you don't. Is this from Willow? Sure. <laughs> Sorry. Sorsha with a whip. The problem is with Alec Baldwin, you got to listen to him talk. I would say I would go with Alec Baldwin because you know hot chicks are going to come see him. Like you have to listen to Todd Chrisley talk too. That's more annoying. Yeah, yeah but Chrisley's probably not going to talk politics. Yeah, you got. I don't think Baldwin will really be talking politics <laughs> while we're in jail together. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, and and I, we'll probably just would, be in Canadian jail because Alec Baldwin moved to Canada, right? 
Uh, him and Lena Dunham. I mean, he told uh, us he was leaving. The problem is also with Baldwin. He would talk about how the shadow show had been his big break, and it just didn't it didn't work. Slam evil. That's right. That was the Phantom. Oh, that was the Phantom. <laughs> I'm just not gonna, phantoms. <laughs> the phantom. I'm just gonna make Baldwin. That's how uh, bad the shadow was. Balls. I think <laughs> I get it confused with the phantom <laughs> routine from Saturday Night Live. <laughs> the sweaty balls. Yeah, sweaty. that's all. That's all we're gonna do. I don't know. He might pull the. He might think you're Canteen Boy. Mm. Ooh, sweaty balls. Mm. Yeah, sweaty balls. I, I'm just thinking how much I can make and selling out my. Uh, Moving on. What's the next question? <laughs> all right. I guess I, I'd rather be Canteen Boy than Goat Boy right now. <laughs> Moving oh. on. From Pop Goals oh. the Culture at PGTC Podcast. New new listener and new questions. Pop Goes the Culture at PGTC Podcast. That's Pop Goes the Culture. Pop Goes the Culture. That's short for it for that. Yeah. i for, I almost said at PGTC P O D cast. <laughs> Hey, where's our buddy at? It had the r- really long Twitter handle. Have we heard from him in a long, wa- long time? Which one? I can't remember. The one with the really long Twitter handle. The one with the really long Twitter handle said, I don't have to read the whole Twitter handle, but if you put it in the listener feedback, I got to read it. Meow God? No. 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 It, it had like a bunch of numbers at the end of his handle. Yeah. Thing. Oh. Uh, but anyways. It turned out it was just a bot. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a bot. Pop Goes the Culture with The Last of Us. Debuting last Sunday on HBO. I did watch episode one this weekend. What other video games slash franchises would you like to see adapted for film slash television? Frogger. I hear you can really get into Frogger. There's dragons in the water. Um, I've Frog- always thought... Uh, Possibly Burger Time. <laughs> Zelda. <laughs> Pitfall would be a one long running scene. <laughs> <laughs> Zelda could work. Yeah, there's there's enough storylines in Zelda you can make. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like Zelda, Super Smash Brothers, Paper Boy, original Baldur's Gate, Paper Boy. You can do Smash Brothers because they did they did uh, Street Fighter, <laughs> they did Street Fighter. Well, they, they did Street Fighter Two. Oh, sorry, my bad. Yes, but they did uh, Rampage. Oh, uh, yeah, they did mm. Rampage. Um, I like you, you can do a lot of them because Rampage had no plot. And they made a movie no. for it. Did you watch Rampage? Yes. It wasn't horrible. It wasn't good. Eh. It was exactly what I thought it was going to be from coming from The Rock. I just... I, it definitely felt like they were planning for a sequel. I feel like he does that with all of his movies now just because he's gotten so many. Yeah. Where it's like, if I don't, then I'm going to be an asshole or I'm going to, you know, miss out on money. They are making San Andreas the sequel. Hooray. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I thought of a good one, though. Uh, Uncharted. They can make a, an Uncharted uh, <laughs> movie worth watching. Another one? No, just one worth watching. <laughs> hey, like, you know, in the, in the video game, we travel to all these destinations. How many go in the movie? Three. Oh. What about Grand Theft Auto? <laughs> it's called Cops. <laughs> Fast and Furious? It's on Fox. Um, um, you know, I was about to say uh, The Last of Us. I had a hard time. Well, first of all, I was on an exercise bike, and I was like, I'll watch the first episode of The Last of Us. Little did I know, it was an hour and 20 minutes. Yes. <laughs> I thought it was like a 30 no minute. No commercial. Like, a 30 minute ride in, 40 minute ride. It was like, oh, crap. Oh, yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, I liked it, but I had a hard time getting over the opening scenes, one of the opening scenes where she's using a metal spatula on a nonstick frying pan. <gasps> oh! Oh, oh God, I almost had to turn it off. Not as a weapon. She no, was, like, oh, oh, she was, was cooking weapon. with it. It was a weapon. She was destroying that uh, pan. <laughs> yes. I was really upset. I was, you know, I, I had a hard time pedaling, but I kept going. There's you a like reason the- places like Spatula City exist, so you can get <laughs> all your spatula need. Where? Spatula City. <laughs> uh, we had a couple nonstick pans at work, and I think it was after like three days. <laughs> had being the <laughs> operative word. And I come in, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and they're like, what? I'm like, who's using this spatula? On- <laughs> Which other one am I supposed to use? <laughs> Three plastic ones we have sitting over there. <laughs> and these are people that should know better. <laughs> I, was, I, knew, I was, thought I was going to have a hard time with this episode with the prop people on this damn damn show. Couldn't get a fucking right spatula for the front nonstick frying pan. I was like, what else are they going to fuck up? You, you ever feel old that you're getting mad at son. spatula? <laughs> they 
kill that zombie with a pop, pop, pop gun. <laughs> we had to get a potato launcher because we don't want to advocate gun violence. You know what you should do? Walkie talkies. <laughs> <laughs> use a walkie Can't talkie use gun. to get the stuff out of the pan. Blake also wrote an article, the most uh, uh, most outrageous thing in Last of Us this week. <laughs> Click here for more on the article. The first six paragraphs of the article just recaps Last of Us. The most outrageous thing, metal, uh, metal spatula. Metal spatula in a nonstick frying pan. I only watched six minutes of the <laughs> Why I had to turn it off in six minutes. Literally, the first article is, The Last of Us is a new show about a zombie apocalypse going on. In I don't know. didn't get that far. <laughs> Culinary rage cancels The Last of Us. <laughs> <laughs> Who's with me? Looks like we're going to have to start a petition. <laughs> hashtag. Get a hashtag. Yeah. And that is what other video games and franchises we would like to see adapted for film or television. <laughs> Somebody wants to get out of here quick. <laughs> uh, what else we got? Uh, from Genie of Hobie. Hey, Genie. Hey, Genie. From... There you go. There you go. <laughs> she said, hi. Hi, just, 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 just now coming in. I am currently on a rest, and my brain is not working. Ask more questions about D and D. I have been enjoying the rage. No, again, yeah. Ryan and I have already addressed it. <laughs> they already addressed it. They were playing Frogger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really upset. Right. I thought we were doing really good, Brian. All right. <laughs> well, then, <laughs> Wizards of the Coast. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Walked it back. I thought we beat yes, it. Right. <laughs> we did. S- seven, eight times. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I really felt good about myself with the dragon. <laughs> Can't I, get mean, yeah. I mean, I just hopped on it when his mouth was closed. Yeah. <laughs> when you guys were bitching like, oh, I went into a dungeon and got yeah. eaten by a dragon, I was like, uh-huh. just get on the log. <laughs> like, I don't understand what the problem is. Yeah. Just, just avoid the cars, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a dungeon. That's an interstate. <laughs> There is a tunnel. <laughs> I blame Brian. He he led me wrong. Wait a second. <laughs> You're not going to sell me out here. You wanted to get to this question fast. We were still rocking it with the last of us <laughs> jokes. Spatula man. <laughs> Spatula man? Ooh. Another famous Jim Brewer SNL character. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> what stork I say? <laughs> I hope that answered yeah. the question, oh. Jeannie. I was about to say, I guess in our uh, D&D campaign, I'm going to just start using a spatula as my main weapon. Metal. Oh, definitely a metal, metal spatula. Metal, metal. They don't have plastic in can, the... Can I get a spatula uh, for my... Is that considered a monk weapon? Can I be a... Yes, yeah, no, that should be a monk weapon. No, it'd have to be a frying pan plus one. <laughs> I mean, he is playing a halfling, so he does have proficiency with cooking. Yeah. I feel like we really need <laughs> should start playing D and D Pride. <laughs> is that the one they jump on squares and turn them in different colors? There's That's Cubert. Damn it! <laughs> These uh, gummy pigs are not so gummy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got, Bridge Blake? Well, I was going to say, just for Jeannie... Oh, dear God, no. <laughs> Let's go for it, right? No, no, actually, you know, go ahead. You know, the uh, the YouTube uh, video, video that you got yeah. posted on there is only 15 minutes long. It's actually pretty good. But yeah, so Wizards of the Coast I is going... I guess just link it on our... Just uh, link it on our website. Our website. I'll That'd be do pretty that cool now. for yeah. people who actually like to talk about tabletop hey. games. No, but they're walking it back now. They, they know they screwed up. Now they're saying, well, yes. we're going to make a play test and... But they did still leave it ambiguously. Um, you know, one D and D Beyond will be retro, five E and before. So they said all stuff you publish before will be safe. So I think what they're going to try and do is wrap everything up into the one D and D, the new version that's coming out, and they're going to try and control it that way. And everybody else can still do their old stuff. But everybody else's. I had a good yeah. article today. It was like the only people who could kill D and D was D and D itself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, and it basically said you know with all the the, the horrible PR, the eight days of not responding, and, you know, everybody basically, you know, got together and, basically, you know, not one could kill D&D, but 1,500 can get together, and that's 
possibly. Yeah. Well, Isn't that every fandom though? Look at Star Wars. Yeah. The, the, <clears throat> the biggest problem yeah, is yeah. the person who's in charge of it doesn't understand the game. He's looking at it as a video game. As an MMO. Yeah. And that's not the appeal of this game. No. There's a way, you know, people trying to adapt it so you can play remotely is, you know, what makes him think, oh, they all want to play it on their computers. It's like, no, they kind of have to play it on their computers if they want to play with certain people. It's not, yeah. yeah, we don't want that. That stuff is tertiary to what the people who yeah. play this game care about. Mm-hmm. You know, but yeah, so that's that's basically it. You know, you know so they're they're probably going to try and corner the market on the one D and D after the fifth edition on their VTT itself, and then. Yeah. So what you're saying that the, the head uh, guy who's in charge of D and D, yes, is trying to get everybody to stop hopping on those frogs or the frogs hopping on those dragons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is D&D. That's mm. Frogger, man. <laughs> I don't get it. So you guys aren't the only person confused. <laughs> I mean, I can't wait for the film. <laughs> what do you mean you only have one frog? Where are all the other frogs? <laughs> they died. It's a dragon. All right, there you go. It's Dork. What did he think? Hobie Jack crashes on a deserted island. Who goes crazy first? Who gets eaten first? Who's the last to survive? I'm going under the assumption I'll be the first dead. Okay. I think Jason goes crazy first. Correct. Well, that's Jason's crazy, crazy already. Yeah. That doesn't take much. And I really think that Blake will be the, the one who survives all this. I agree. Well, just because he's got basic survival training <laughs> that none of us have. Hey, I know I, I, know I, I took frogs a CPR to eat. class once. <laughs> I know what frogs to eat, Jason. (laughs) (laughs) We would be there, Blake. We'd be like, oh, see you guys. Where's he going? See ya. (laughs) Wait. I'm out. He's going to the woods. Should we follow? Don't follow me. Damn it. I'm going to start my own fire. Who gets eaten first? Jeff. Uh, I'm assuming you'll... Hopefully you'll go ahead and eat the one who's dead first. Yeah, well, Jeff, you say you die first, then we're going to have to eat you. You seem a little gamey. Oh, I'm probably... uh, Yeah. Salty? Oh, just, you know... (laughs) Chewy and <laughs> I feel like you're a little salty. I don't know. Yeah. May not be good. But we gotta make sure you get those uh, jars out to save the Jeff fat so we can cook other stuff in it later. <laughs> <laughs> we could eat like that, that might work. <laughs> Jim, we could eat like kings for decades. <laughs> decades? That's a fat joke. Wow. <laughs> decades? <laughs> Jeez, okay. we're, we're ruthless. I mean, I thought maybe a week, but decades? Well, maybe from your arm, but... <laughs> Brian, you okay over there? Was very rude. <laughs> <laughs> he told me I'm going crazy first. You agree, though, you agreed. Well, yeah, probably. Well, I know this question is bullshit well, well, because it says Hobie can... Jet. We don't have a jet yet. <laughs> yet. We tried to trade it with our uh, Hobie coin, but it's not worth anything anymore. Well, do we still have access to the uh, musings of a geek jet? We do. We haven't given it back. Okay. <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> no, we don't. Oh, I mean, uh, I, I hope Dan's uh, not listening. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm hoping to get Hobie coin revived by uh, the Fire Festival guy. Okay. Nice. <laughs> he's out now. Yeah, I, I know. He's starting his own, a new fe- he's starting a new festival. Even For though influencers. He's, yes. <laughs> even though isn't he like banned from doing that as part of his punishment? I'm sure there he's are somebody no. else. <laughs> no, the judge said, who's it for, influencers? And he said, go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yes. He was told he had to do it for influencers. <laughs> That's part of the punishment. That's part of the plea deal. Sending him to that one island that you're not supposed to go to. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> pedophile Epstein? island? What? Oh, yeah. No. Wait. Yeah. No, the other one with the tribe that kills people. Okay, who's got no. hair this long that was on my... Jason, <laughs> that's definitely my hair. Do you have yeah. a, Are you cheating on us with another podcast? That's his chest hair. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it's my hair. Wait, wait. Like at first I thought it was mine, but I'm like, wait, that just keep, my hair isn't that long, and I've got the longest. In I the am cheating on you with another podcast. <sighs> I, I have to go back to the source question. Wait. Who gets eaten first, and who's the last to survive? Mm-hmm. Wouldn't the last to survive be the first to die? <laughs> <laughs> this is why you're an editor. <laughs> we have it, no Hobie Jet. <laughs> I finished last in the survival uh, pool. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> uh, we got a follow-up, though, to that, Blake. 
Yeah, I'll follow up from Pop Goes the Culture <laughs> Podcast. At PGTC Podcast. <laughs> but it wasn't on there that day. PGC P-O-D cast. Correct. Who comes back as the undead to terrorize the rest? I'm gonna say me. I don't I am pretty annoying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll come back as uh, you've just Gastro made this entire and... question about you. I am. Oh. I'm making every question about me. <laughs> well, he's the first to die. The rest of us, <laughs> as we have uh, have gastrointestinal uh, issues, <laughs> and you will be terrorized from from that. But what kind of undead would you come back? Uh, oh my as? god! I've been <laughs> for can't a week be a jab. Yeah. <laughs> can't be a zombie. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, obviously I wouldn't have a corporal body at all. Exactly. you got to be like a phantasm. Poltergeist. Poltergeist. For our German listeners. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Maybe a skeleton. I don't think you'll actually eat my bones. Oh, no, I'll use your bones as weapons. Oh, okay. How do you think I'm going to fish? I get two. We'll use those. Well, who do you think, Jason? Like a stock. <laughs> I'm going to survive. How do you think I got to get started? Yeah, we would put your bones in the pot to make a stop. Yeah. Oh, They'll say I stock. use them as okay. a weapon. That's your first mistake. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, 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 we, we can maybe, like the femur, I can probably turn into a pretty good yeah, weapon. Yeah. Smaller ones are used for the, the stock. Um, a nice yeah. cranium will help the stock turn out pretty good. That's my soup bowl. <laughs> uh, Jim and Brian, uh, I think we might want to team up against Blake. I'll be honest. I think he's going to murder us. <laughs> And I don't think he has to just be on a deserted island either. That's right. Oh, what you got? How'd you, how'd you like uh, your Jeff cooked? <laughs> My God, Blake's uh, going to take this knife out of here. <laughs> Blake has a weird look in his eye, guys. I want to lick, lick that knife, by the way. It's got the whipped, uh, you know. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm sure that's not what serial still. killers say at all. No. <laughs> Speaking of the knife, I I'm did. i lick that bone I beat Jason Scranium uh, in with. Uh, <laughs> I, I did get a message from uh, someone who watched uh, the uh, Facebook uh, live of uh, Jim cutting the yes. cake and wanted to know if I should put a red mark on Jim's uh, finger. Oh, yeah. Because he didn't hold the knife properly and. On America's or the worst cooks in America, oh. Ann Burrell puts red marks on people's fingers. Do it. Like, well, you, I should probably not have been cutting it with a sharp knife <laughs> with a microphone in front of me while I'm sitting down at a table. You know, if you had a spatula, everything would be okay. <laughs> An iron spatula. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, Brian was playing Dungeons and Dragons over there while cut, trying to cut it. Again, Frogger. Even more impressive. No, no, he was actually playing Tic Tac Toe this time. Oh, <laughs> I was. Cat. Damn it. I, that's Hangman? No. <laughs> Jason's really bad at tic-tac-toe, too. <laughs> okay. We, we, yeah. You can use X's and O's, cat. <laughs> All right, so that's who comes back as the undead to terrorize the rest of us. <laughs> we got Blake wrapping up. Professor number one, doctor number one, are there any classified documents in the Hobie studio? Down the hall. No. Um, I wouldn't classify this picture of Katie Cassidy as... Classified. Yeah, she's a director. Do any of our uh, outlines c- are considered classified yes. documents? Yes. Then yes. We They're have right next to the outlines. Corvette. No, I've declassified them all. Oh, even the old ones? Because yep. I got a garbage can with some in it over here. I declassify those. It, it, Brian declassifies them as soon as Jason puts it on air. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, so, just, just part of what goes into what I do here. So the second page what hasn't been on do? air yet, so it's classified. Besides, Correct. Okay. Besides, give us a good time. What? Nothing. Anyways, uh, uh, I don't think we need to pursue that line of anyways, speaking it, anymore. He's going to talk about handsome boys, okay? So I don't want to hear it. You just made it weird, Jason. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Anyways, uh, what, give me a news of the geek music. News of the geek. News of the geek. This is the music for news of the geek. <sighs> dot com. We're going to skip that first one. Rankings uh, edition. <laughs> actually, that was from last week. And he's <laughs> skipping it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we got 15 minutes left. we got to hurry up. 9-14. Okay. Uh, per Futurism, Futurism.com, where Brian gets all of his uh, news from. Only because I have to edit it. <laughs> <laughs> it's no secret that Tom Brady, Golden Age quarterback extraordinaire, was heavily invested in the now bankrupt crypto exchange FTX at the time of the implosion into bankruptcy. The footballer was one of the cryptos was one of crypto's giants. 
Crypto Giants. The Crypto Giants. Yeah, thank you. Crypto Giants most visible ambassadors. Wait a minute, he's playing for the Giants? <laughs> yes. Uh, the start, Crypto Giants. Starting in FTX commercials and talking to Twitter to tweet football related crypto music. Actually, that's a uh, new race of giant in one D and D. Crypto Giants. Yeah. But while he was understood to have equity stake in the company, the terms of his agreement were uh, with the exchange was never publicly disclosed because it's his business. Uh, as a result, his losses in the cap and the collapse have been unclear until now. In bankruptcy court fil- uh, filings reviewed by Insider, uh, John Stossel, FTX reportedly unveiled exactly how much equity its top shareholders held in formerly high flying exchange. The big Bitcoin Bitcoin miner had a staggering 1.1 million common shares of FTX. Uh, it's unknown how much money that is. Why? Because nobody knows how much money that is. Uh, he may have actually put into his partnership with the company, concerning that FTX was valued at roughly $32 billion at the time of the collapse. <laughs> the entirety of the rival exchange, Coinbase, for perspective, <clears throat> owned only a hair more FTX, FTX stocks than Brady at 1.3 million shares. So you're saying he's coming back next season because yes. he's got to pay a lot of He bills. lost 1.1 million common shares uh, only to Coinbase. <laughs> Uh, alongside other major investment funds like Tiger Global, Sequoia <laughs> Capital, Skybridge, and others. Insider reports that the top shareholders included Patriots owner Robert Kraft, who had a little over 630,000 common shares, and Giselle Bunchen, who clocked in at just $700,000. But those really belong to Tom and part of the divorce settlement. Oh, so, yeah. So she's still all right. <laughs> she only took, kept 100000 You can take the other 600000 <laughs> yeah. Uh They're all now worthless, all these assets. Uh, Brady and Bunchen are two of the celebrity, cel- two of the several celebrity targets of a massive class action lawsuit accusing FTX and its famous ambassadors of intentionally hawking unregistered securities to low information investors. So uh, he lost a lot of money. No, I'm sorry. I mean, if you yeah. if you're if you're taking stock advice and investment advice from Tom Brady. Yeah, um, it's yeah. cryptocurrency. Um, it's not regulated, and it's bound to collapse on you at some point or be stolen. From what I heard from the parents at my son's indoor soccer game all last year, <laughs> you really need to get in on this, Brigger. Why? Because I bought this stock. It's one cent. Jason, if that goes up to a dollar, I bought a thousand shares. If that goes up to a dollar, I'm, I'm a millionaire. Yeah. You have to sell it first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did it go up to a thousand a uh, uh, dollar? Man, it's at three cents. Uh, <laughs> so he tripled his investment. That's true. That is I true. Mean, he did. I'll give him credit for that. Yeah. I mean, if you want to sue Tom Brady because you had questions about football and he gave you advice and it turned out wrong, then sue Tom Brady for football. Yes. But if you're looking to him for stock advice, that's your own fault. To be fair, Larry David uh, warned us all. Or, or any pay. Yeah, he did. <laughs> that is awesome. That commercial that now yes. has a new meaning. But yes, <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. But but anybody that's paid to peddle shit. Mm-hmm. Is it now anybody that's in a commercial can get sued now for false advertising. Oh, thank well, God, well, Billy. This all comes back to social media because nobody goes beyond what they see there and does any kind of research. So like, oh, oh well, Tom Brady, I, like, I, I got to do it. Wait, yeah. hold on. You're talking about due diligence and a level of effort? What was that word you used? Rescurches. Yes. Rescurches. It's kind of, my son and I were driving back last night, and on the radio they were talking about a woman that drove drunk, crashed into a mansion, which then severed a gas line and blew up like a lot of property, ten million dollars in loss. Okay, she went back and sued the music festival she was at because they served her. Not that they overserved her. Can't do it. Yeah. Which there is laws that the establishment does have some responsibility. I know it wasn't somebody else that bought a beer for her. But the problem is, the problem is, you know, how, how are you? How correct. are you supposed to know if you're going up to random booth with beer? Correct. Somebody else buys it for you, but. Yeah. My thought is, this isn't just a. I mean, I'm not a lawyer. I just read social media posts, Jason. That's true. And he wrote articles yeah. <laughs> about spatulas. I, I, I did my own research on this. <laughs> yeah. Well, my issue was... I went to Wikipedia, and Wikipedia tells me. Well, my issue is this, though. It's yeah, not even ahead. an I'm establishment sorry. that she's at. She was at a music festival with lots and lots of beer booths. They're not going to be court, co- communicating with each other. 
Like, yeah, you can tell the telltale signs, but they have mm-hmm. 20,000 people there. Do you think they're going to be able to see how many, it? And you're allowed to buy, what, two beers? You can walk yeah. away with one in each hand? It's yeah. Like, and as my 12-year-old said, my 12-year-old You know, somebody can said, give it to her, yeah. What about personal responsibility? <gasps> what? And I was like, what? Good job, man. Good job. I don't know what you're teaching your children here, Jason. Well, he's like, but she's the one that drank it. I was like, exactly. I've never been more proud of you, Jason. I know. That's good. We don't have a lot of empathy in our house, right. I'll be honest. So that was, that could be part of it. But yeah, he's like, what, but. But she's the one that bought. Yeah. But I'll, I'll tell you what her problem was, and Jason, you you and I both learned this. You yes. know, working at the place that shall not be named. Yes. If you're drunk driving, you hit something. First thing you got to do is get out and run. Yes. Yes. Don't do that. Don't do that. I mean, don't do it. But that's you know, what people do. You know, we saw that a lot. That's right. We saw that a lot. Because then you had to prove they're driving the car. We saw that from professional football players. Sure, we did. Well, and if you get away long enough, they can't prove you were drunk either. Correct. You just get accused of running yeah. from the scene. We are so not recommending a, that, but that is what we have seen. That's why when they do the, track you down, the, you have a bottle of liquor in your yeah, hand, and the, you're so distressed, you started drinking The first thing you do is get out of your car and start doing shots <laughs> and say, I didn't start drinking until after the accident. You mean not like the guy that we used to work with? At, uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> like him. Who, who ran and hid in a tree? Yeah. <laughs> All of this is bad legal advice, by the way. Do not do <laughs> any of this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> terrible <laughs> legal advice. Do not do any of this. <laughs> we we want to put that condone. disclaimer out there. Do not. We are, yes, we are not condoning this. We are not suing us. We are not a us. legal podcast. That's no. Right. Uh, you know, another way, just get hit by a train, then you go to the hospital. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a lawyer. I just read social media articles. <laughs> <laughs> I play one on Twitter. <laughs> you drunk? Let me show you the 12 ways to get away with it. <laughs> uh, anyways. Just don't drink and drive. Yeah, Drink so, responsibly. You got Uber. Fucking get an Uber. Or Lyft. Or w- Although, yeah. So, what else are we going to talk about on our uh, legal podcast oh. here? Oh, well, I, uh, I'm going to throw this question out. Is she suing because that's the only way the insurance company will pay, is to try and blame the get the fault else? No, insurance companies pay for drunk driving. Yeah, but some, but they they're probably going to make sure that they're trying to find someone else at fault. Probably the, the festival for liability. So it's coverage. probably the insurance company is making. They her said suit. it was her. She filed. Yeah. Because if the insurance company is filing, they're doing it on their own. Yeah. Well, Sorry, uh, go based depend- on Jim's tweet and advice. On the law, she's yes. <laughs> Of some things where sometimes you, the person has to sue. Something. That is true, but it's still ri- ridiculous. That the way the story came across, it was her that was doing. So, there you go. Uh, per whiskey, <laughs> speaking of alcohol, per whiskeyraiders dot com. Alcohol and lawsuits. Yes, <laughs> where Jim gets all of his news from. <laughs> what a great bridge! A glass, a class, a class action lawsuit has been brought against spirits giant Sazerac. 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 Whatever. Uh, over its Fireball brand. The lawsuit alleges that Fireball's Fireball cinnamon beverage is misleading due to its packaging, which is very similar to Fireball cinnamon whiskey, a different product. Fireball cinnamon, a malt bre- beverage that contains no whiskey, was, re- I forgot the e, was released in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It features an ABV of 16.5%. I, I think whiskey can be spelled with or without the e. Really? Yeah. Okay. Half of the original Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey... That's really bothering me now. 33%. Wait, hold on. Half of the original is 33%. Yeah, Fireball Cinnamon. Oh, 16. Yeah. There you go. The complaint alleges that the front <coughs> label of Fireball Cinnamon is identical to that of Fireball Cinnamon, cinnamon Whiskey. Save for the word whiskey. Yeah, so it doesn't say whiskey on it. <laughs> and small text read identify the drink as malt beverage with natural whiskey and other flavors and caramel, caramel color. Fireball Cinnamon natural. does not... Contain distilled spirits, making it distinctly different than Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey. Oh, I like yeah. how they just have other flavors, <laughs> you know, in between the caramel caramel color and the natural whiskey. Well, well, well no, it's not natural whiskey. It. It's natural yeah. whiskey flavors. Yeah. yeah, that's where the lawsuit's uh, coming yeah. from. <laughs> if they said malt beverage with natural whiskey flavor and other flavors, yeah. but it says natural whiskey and other. The whiskey and other are both modifying flavors. Uh, it is Tuesday. <laughs> yep. The lawsuit reads, quote, When viewed together with the Fireball Distilled Spirit brand name, the label misleads consumers into believing it is or contains distilled spirits. 
The lawsuit takes umbrage with the label's fine print phrasing. Quote, using the words with natural whiskey and other flavors is a clever turn of phrase because consumers who strain to read this <laughs> will see it as natural whiskey is distinct from other flavors. The lawsuit states that they think they will think the product is a malt beverage with one added natural whiskey and two other flavors. Genius. Also explains that the label means, uh, yeah. The um, lawsuit aims to cover anyone in Illinois, North Dakota, Wyoming, Idaho, Alaska, Iowa, a lot of states. As somebody with common sense, if yes. you go someplace that can't sell s- distilled spirits and they're selling this bottle of Fireball, makes you think that, yeah, it probably doesn't have any whiskey in it. <laughs> now, granted, where you buy these things vary state to state, and some places might ha- might have them. Both at the same thing, and you're like, "Ooh, this one's cheaper, so I'll buy the cheap one." Well, you buy the cheap, then you know you're, yeah. This one's ten dollars. <laughs> yeah. This one's two dollars. <laughs> I'm gonna buy the two dollar one. Yeah. And then you're gonna get mad that wait, no, you, but, you know something's up. Wait, the two dollar whiskey isn't really whiskey. This also came out with the hashtag cancel fireball whiskey. No. I'm just <laughs> um. It's no longer sold at Disney, that's for sure. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and what annoys me when people start at the bar and people get fireball, like, oh, I can't drink. That stuff's too strong. Like, it's 66%. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's 33 proof. <laughs> Anyways. Is, like, yeah, 16% alcohol. And No, it's, it's 66 proof. It's 66 proof. It's 30, 60, 30. Oh, okay. Yeah, 66 proof. 33%. Which, yeah. And Who's like, it's n- same thing with like with Jägermeister. Like, oh, that's way too strong. That's sixty-five. Per- By strong, they mean the anise flavor, uh, not what? the alcohol content. Did you just say the anise flavor? Anise. I said anise. I'm but... sorry. I literally just <laughs> heard the Are anise okay flavor. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I probably was slurring my words because I'm drunk on this water. That. The fireball you got over there? <laughs> and real quick, we're going to do this because this is a great article. Real quick. Couple claiming to be time travelers from 2027 share oh, footage okay. proving they're all alone. We talked about this a yes. couple, about a year ago. I already yes. disproved this. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. Couple has shocked the internet by Clay. Shocked. Shocked. The internet. <laughs> Last time it wasn't a couple, though. No, get ready. Wait, so, so, he, wa- so he lied the first time because he wasn't the last person left on the planet. And they're both not alone because... There's another person with them. A couple have shocked the internet by claiming that they're living in the future. They have footage to prove it. Thank God they got a filming permit. <laughs> TikTokers Javier, Javier and Maria claim to be stuck alone in the future, but thankfully they have each other. Maria, who claims to be a scientist, posts videos from the future on claims TikTok. Claims to be a scientist. <laughs> I'm not a scientist. I just play one on TikTok. Um, she, it turns out that she is actually Tara Reid. <laughs> Newfoundland. Uh, time is an illusion, She sta- her bio states, alone in the world with Javier. Apparently, the mysterious duo who never share face pictures are in 2027, and judging by their accounts, things aren't looking too good. Javier and Maria are alone, and their bizarre videos are evidence, quote-unquote, that there are no humans left on Earth. But I will tell you, the grass yeah. and the flowers are really manicured nicely. Yeah. I, I really <laughs> hope that they get invited to that influencer festival, <laughs> <laughs> they've, they've already went. They already, they've already, already been there. Yeah. They've already, yeah. Maybe they're, that's uh, what they're filming. <laughs> they, the remnants of the, the next pandemic starts right there. <laughs> they appear to be they inserted just can tear it to that island. <laughs> uh, oh. Hello, oh. viewers have identified the city Sorry. that they're in is Valencia in Spain. Uh, Maria introduces herself and explains how she knows Javier. Hello, I'm Maria. I am part of the same project as Javier. I am I appear I appear here because I'm still processing everything I've lived. I'm trying to find a solution. I still have a lot to understand, but I've decided to change the current situation. And another, she writes, she shares, I'm a scientist. My strong point is nuclear physics. <laughs> My strong point. But I can't explain what happened and how I got here. I know Javier and his experiment since the beginning, uh, since the beginning, even though he didn't know it at the time. And now I'm finally here to help. So here's the best part. Well, she's a stalker in the future. So, in the little world. So here's the best part. So seven million people follow these people. Seven million. Yeah. A year and a half ago, he was by himself after yeah. COVID. You right, right there, Jeff? Yeah. Okay. And intern Brian debunked it. Pez yeah. just went down the That's wrong... Right. 
<laughs> yeah, all it took was... You ruined it for everybody. All it took was five minutes to go online, and we found out. That's right. Uh, the city of Valencia actually has a uh, certificate thanking them for filming there. <laughs> and they also have a permit uh, to film there because why? They're making a TV show. Um, the best part is that you go on Reddit, and I did this. I went down a rabbit hole to see if anybody's like following it. Oh, my God. All these people are like, well, if he technically is a time traveler, how did he think he did this? And another one's like, well, I've looked at other time travelers, and I th- I'm i like, oh, my God. <laughs> and they're like, this is really happening. This is really happening. So yeah. there's a lot of time travelers on TikTok is what I'm saying. There's a lot. I like that they use TikTok to yeah. communicate. You know what? We should get in on that. We should. Toby time traveler. We should. In the future right the of bat. podcasting in 2028. Yes. <laughs> Uh, how, about, how about next week? Yeah. We clear our our schedule, or we don't record because us from the future will do the episode for us. I like it. There we go. I like it. Uh, box office news, real quick, Jeff. Real quick, do go quick. You got one minute. Go. Avatar: Way of Water, number one with another twenty million dollars. Puss in Boots: The Last Wish, number two with another eleven and a half million dollars. Megan made ten million to be at number three. <laughs> Missing made nine point three million on its opening weekend of a seven million dollar budget, so it's already got its money back. And a man called Otto made another nine million, a total of thirty five point three million on a fifty million dollar budget. Coming out this week, we have Infinity Pool. <laughs> it's a sequel to Infinity Stones. <laughs> Thanos is just enjoying retirement. The landscaping series <laughs> on Marvel. <laughs> Infinity Pool. James and Aaron Foster are enjoying a beach, an all-inclusive beach vacation in the fictional island of La Tolca when a fatal accident exposes the resort's perverse sub- subculture of hedonistic tourism, reckless violence, and surreal horrors. I saw this on Cinemax once. I hope they don't use a shotgun in that Didn't movie. Broken Lizard make this movie once? Yes. <laughs> Isn't that the Influencer <laughs> Festival? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alexander Skarsgård, Mia Goth, and yeah. And other people. Well, uh, Distant mm-hmm. is also coming out this week. That would be Distant. <laughs> in the Distant feature. <laughs> 2020. <laughs> Anything, Tim? Nah, it's loading. Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, and also Fear, which I think, didn't that come out like in the like, 90s or 1998. something? 1998. <laughs> a much-needed getaway and a celebration weekend turns into a nightmare due to the contagious airborne threat. That's Distant or Fear? That was Fear. Ah. Distance follows an asteroid miner who, after crash landing on an alien planet, must make his way across the harsh terrain, running out of oxygen, hunted by strange creatures, to the only other survivor. That's that dumb Adam Driver movie that Jason wanted to Shut see. it! That's not it. That's $65 million. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Again, even though I'm on the IMDB and I'm putting out upcoming and none of the and full distance on there, but Infinity Pool and Fear aren't <laughs> even listed. I think Fear is actually the big uh, wide release this week, too. But Maybe I Do was listed. <laughs> maybe. Maybe I do. <laughs> uh, t- Jeff, give me some top five music. No. Okay. Top five this week is favorite Tom Hanks films. Popular one this week. Uh, who would like to go first? Blake, you go first. Aha, Blake. You go we wanna, first. We want to just give all five at the same time or just go around? <laughs> you well, give all five? Well, Let's do well, it. Well, we, we normally just go around, but... I will right, we'll go around since, you know, we're, we're, we're running on time crunch here. No. Okay. Try and catch a, Try and get out before the snowstorm. We That's got right. two and a half hours. We're all right. <laughs> <laughs> get the fuck what out. Are you, what are you, from the future? I am. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got, Blake? Number five. All right. So, yeah, I mean, it's going to be pretty easy. My top five will probably get hit in the first round or two. I was going to say, pretty much we could do all pretty top five much. at one point. Yeah. Because I think we're all going to have similar ones. Most of the same ones. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I hated it when I first saw it. Forrest Gump, but I learned to like it. Fuck that man. And I know wow. some people have the opposite reaction. That was my... I liked it when it first came out, but then yeah. the more I saw it, I disliked it. I was the same with you. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. Jeff? Such disdain for Dr. Dana's favorite movie. Uh, yes. So he lost <laughs> Canadian of the Year. Uh, my number five is The Money Pit. Oh. When he and Shelley, Shelley Long buy a house. That's right. And uh, the... It's a nonfiction story, actually, isn't it? Because all the houses <laughs> are money pits. 
Yeah, and and yeah, isn't like the bad guy from Ghostbusters too? Like her uh, Vigo boyfriend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think the actor who plays Vigo is also. Oh, I thought he was the character of Vigo. No. Oh. Uh, or somebody who looks just like him. Uh, number five for me, it's Bachelor Party. Love Bachelor. Party. <laughs> You're an asshole because that's. Uh, <laughs> That's my number two. Yeah, I put it on the board. I yeah. love Bachelor Party. No, nothing better than that movie for a young uh, 14-year-old Blake. Tawny Katane. That's right. Yeah, I, I will say it is my number Ooh. one Tawny Katane movie. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> number five, Jim. Uh, Dragnet. Oh, I like this. That's my honorable mention. That's a good one. Who is he with on that? Ackroyd. Dan that's Ackroyd. who it was. Okay. Uh, number five, Jim. Do Brian? the pagan dance. <laughs> uh, number five for me, The Road to Perdition. It's a movie I would probably like if I saw it. It is very good, but it I is. haven't seen it. Is it on so your list, Jim? Can't be on my list. No, no, because my list is slightly different. Okay. Yeah, I don't watch <laughs> religious flicks. <laughs> number four. Uh, number it's actually f- based on a graphic novel about gangsters. Correct. Oh. Gangsters so or gangsters? So what story in the Bible Burger. is that based on? <laughs> Solomon go more. <laughs> Uh, number four? Uh, number four, Family Ties. Drunk Uncle Ned. Oh! It's not a movie, but I... I uh, it's my uh, list. Uh, <laughs> you can do what you want. You're right. Number yeah, f- I, I had TV shows for next week with Tom Hanks, but... All right, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> number four? Uh, number four, The Polar Express. <sighs> That's a great Christmas movie. Are you listing worst Tom Hanks films? Yes. Ah. yes. <laughs> okay, good man. Actually, that would be a better selection than the best <laughs> if you like. Because you know, odds are his list are, is none on mine. Uh, number four for me is Apollo 13. Love Apollo 13. Oh, yeah, that's a good movie. That's I one that I didn't that like one. at the beginning. It's like the opposite of Forrest Gump. Uh, I love it more the, the more I see it. Yeah, yeah I, that, that's my number two. Put on the board! Yeah. I, I like the scene where you, they're, they're at NASA, they're there, and they got this box... And they dump it on the table and it's like, here's what we got to work with. Yeah. yeah. The solution. I'm like, man, talk about crazy. We got to make something, we got to make this fit yes. into something built for this using only this. <laughs> yeah, it empties that box and you can see everybody on the face like, well, oh, they're fucked. I'm, I met Jim Lovell once yeah. in real life. Oh. Oh, yeah? Did yeah. he hit on you? Nope, he oh, did okay. not. Did he have a box? He did not have a box. Uh-huh. He had a, uh, a reel of film. Oh, okay. And I was running the projector for him to oh, show his film. I see. Uh, number four? Uh, number four for me is A League of Their Own. That's my number three. Good film. Good film. Both Apollo 13 and A League of Their Own are uh, Shawshank films for yep. me. Yep. Uh, number four for you, Blake. Uh, number four, I had uh, The Burbs. You motherfucker. That's my number one. Really? I love The Burbs. There you hey, go. Pinocchio, where do you think you're going? Is that on That's Jim's list? That that was uh, on my honorable mention. How dare you! It's I horrible. I couldn't stand that. Movie. I love that. The burbs. Red, the burbs. Awful. Red Rover. Red Rover. Send Ray over. Yeah, that's great. I love, <laughs> I love that movie. Once they get in here, Ray, it's all over. <laughs> <laughs> I can quit the whole movie. What a meatball! Yeah. Uh, number three, Blake. Uh, I realized I had a, um, an error in my numbering schemata. <laughs> yes. my Tom Hanks. I didn't have a number three. Okay. Oh, we're skipping it. Okay. Uh, number three for you. Uh, number three for me is uh, Lady Killers. Ah, Waffles. Waffles, fourth with. Yes. Uh, let's oh. see here. My number three was League of Their Own. Uh, number three for you, Jim? My number three is Joe versus the Volcano. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, that God. One's That's where him and Meg started their uh, That's right. partnership. Uh, Brian? Uh, number three for me, Captain Phillips. Ah, I am the captain now. That's the only line I know from that movie. I still haven't seen the movie. It's good. It's It's good. Mm. Yeah, very enjoyable. Uh, Number two. Number two. uh, Big. Big. It's a light, easy, yes. No, that got canceled. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a little problematic. You know, she's ladies, making out with a twelve-year-old, lady seducing a boy. I mean, yes. yeah, yeah. in a man's body. Yeah, I mean, it's every doesn't man. matter whether she knows or not. <laughs> it's every twelve-year-old's boy's dream. But hey, it's probably only she was Tony Katane. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, number two, Jim. Uh, my number two is uh, I just had it. Um, mm-hmm. uh, Castaway. 
Oh wow! Yeah. Three and a half yeah. hours. You of think it's his at... worst, second it's worst movie there. ever? Wow! If, I, if it was two hours, then maybe yeah. no. But the extended yeah. viewing thing of nothing absolutely happening. Yeah, that, well, but, you know what happens? More <laughs> happens in the happening than happens <laughs> in Castaway. I mean, I, I'd rather watch the Blue Lagoon Castaway. That <laughs> that's problematic. <laughs> oh that, yeah, hold on. But that didn't have a volleyball. It's true. Uh, well, they had other things that entertained it. themselves with on the night. They did have ball. Never mind. Uh, number two, Toy but, Story. But, you know, Castaway falls on, on the same line as this, all the Scream movies. I'll watch it for like five or ten minutes, and then I'll leave it. I'll I like it. the ending. Yeah. Uh, number two for me is Toy Story, the original. I had that as an honorable Actually, mention. you could pretty much put the whole franchise in. I, I almost made one through four Toy Story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Toy Story and 3 they, would be, probably be the best. No, Toy Story. Hmm. You just put Toy Story on your... Ah, yeah, I changed you, it. You said the original. <laughs> you changed it as we were speaking? Yeah. Okay. The more I talked about it. Number two. <laughs> Number two for me was Apollo 13, unless I can replace it nope. with something off of my <clears throat> honorable mention list. Uh, Blake. Uh, Number two is Da Vinci Code. I remember watching the movie. I, I mean, I, my one buddy, uh, John, from uh, college had read the book, and I remember we were on a road trip, and he basically explained to me the entire book. I'm like, man, that's pretty cool. And it would be great, you know, if you're rich and you can go and track all this shit down and yeah. have fun to go do all this stuff and, you know, but, uh, yeah, I liked it. But not Angels Did you and watch Demons. The movie? I didn't like Angels and Demons as much. Yeah. What about Inferno? No. no I've not seen one. Inferno. Oh, God, he made a third one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they no. wrote plenty of books. Hmm. No, I know that. I just didn't know. Uh, number one? And this, this is why I screwed up my list. I had no four. Because I wrote down five titles. But I hope he'd won, of course, which is <laughs> oh. Saving Private Ryan and uh, Grey, you know, Greyhound. Both of them together, I think, are probably the best. Okay. Uh, number one. Uh, number one for me is That Thing You Do. That Thing, thing when You Do. You do you that know, thing You Do. Yes. That's another Shawshank for me yeah. every time that's on. As in, I wonder whatever happened to the Oniders. Uh, number one for me was The Burbs. Uh, number one for you? Uh, the Terminal. Because oh. ah. less happens in the terminal <laughs> than it does in Castaway. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what four-letter word is the reason he was coming to the U.S.? Which one? In the terminal. Yeah. He what is stock jazz. Number one for you, Brian. I thought it was Sparrow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> New York's finest. I mean, he could get that in the airport. Oh. <laughs> Number one. Uh, I thought that was why he didn't leave. <laughs> Number one, The Green Mile. Ah, good movie. Yep. Books are good, too. So, I will say, we have a uh, my, lot of different movies on this. Here, here's my actual top five. Uh, number five, Hobie, That Thing You Do, and Catch Me If You Can. Uh, number uh, three can. or four, Road to Perdition. Number three, Hobie, Saving Private Ryan, and Band of Brothers. Uh, uh, number two, Green Mile, and number one, The Simpsons movie. Catch Me If You Can was an honorable mention. I had Catch Me If You Can as an honorable mention, along with uh, Mazes and Monsters. Justin Dunn, he showed up. Justin from Cinema what? Guys. In no order, Joe versus the Volcano. Big. Forrest Dump. <laughs> You're at Forrest Dump, I think you meant Gump. <laughs> Saving Private Ryan and Toy Story 3. Niecy, Indiana's oh. favorite nurse. Had the burbs, there you go. Elvis, great makeup. Big, A League of Their Own, and Toy Story Trilogy. Uh, Ooh, not the fourth one? Uh, I guess not. Oh. Which one has the spoon? The fourth one? Yeah. <laughs> uh, she had a lot of honorable and She's like, oh, hell, I just love them all. Uh, <laughs> so there you go. Uh, and then, uh, hold on, let me get this real quick. Uh, let's see here. Ah, come on. Uh, we had some on Twitter here. Let me show you here. Okay, here we go. Uh, doctor number one. There's only one. The Polar Express. Uh, from this moment on. Uh, Stork had the Green Mile. Big. The Burbs. See, the Burbs is on a lot. Yeah, you're using Stork, though, to That's help true. your argument. <laughs> Forrest Gump, which is different than Forrest Dump. And Saving Private Ryan. Shaving Ryan Private and Forrest Dump. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, ow, Canadian of the Year. Had Turner and Hooch. Bachelor Party. You've got mail. Joe versus the volcano and Forrest Gump. Uh, Dev <sighs> had Castaway, Joe versus the volcano, Forrest Gump, Big and Turner and Hooch. 
Uh, Pittsburgh Nerd had Big Splash. Oh, no. Uh Nothing in common. Jackie Gleason? That's not Jackie Mason. That's Jackie Gleason. I don't remember that. Bachelor Party and Apollo 13. And then Randy? Wasn't wasn't Sleepless in Seattle? Yeah. Um, Yeah. Nobody said that. Not, not yet. Thank good. They've, it was they put Jim's. You've Got Mail and Joe versus the Volcano, the other two. But it didn't make grind. your list, Jim. Because it wasn't as bad as his other ones. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Randall Holt, RJ Holt 666. He's not evil. Just handled that way. He had Philadelphia. No one said that. No one said Philadelphia. <laughs> that, right. that was close to my uh, money pit. Actual list. Yep. Toy Story 1 and 2, League of Their Own, and Splash. Honorable mention, Green Mile. Uh, Streets of Philadelphia was also almost on my list. Just the video. The video. <laughs> yeah. uh, Steve had everything I learned from movies. Everything I learned from movies. Uh, Toy Story, Saving Private Ryan, Forrest Gump, Castaway, and Joe vs. Volcano. That's a horrible list. Um, and two of those were on mine. <laughs> Scott. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Scott oh. McKenzie. Uh, he has vo- uh, Bachelor Party. All right. Dragnet. Cool. That Dungeons and Dragons movie he made in the early 80s. Mazes and Monsters. There you go. <laughs> Punchline. I forgot about Punchline. And volunteers. Oh, volunteers! I forgot about that. No one, one said the man, the one, uh, the man with one red shoe. No Not one yet. Said the man with one oh. red shoe. Not Kevin yet. at Cincy Explorer had beautiful day in the neighborhood. Forrest Gump, Big Philadelphia, and Saving Private Ryan. Uh, honorable mentions: Apollo thirteen, Chartuder, <laughs> Charcuterie, <laughs> Bridge of Spies, and Catch Me If You Can. Bridge of Spies Chartier. is another good one. And uh, one I haven't seen, but I probably should. The story out west. Look at all these new people coming. The Burbs. Yeah. The Burbs. Forrest Gump. League of Their Own. Saving Private Ryan. And Apollo 13. That is impressive. Like, there's a big mm-hmm. different amount. Yeah. Uh, one that uh, was it the News of the World. That was oh, yeah. Decent. The Western. Yeah. yeah. That was on no, it's at The Post. The Post is on Oh, I forgot about that. Um, I haven't seen it, so it couldn't have been on my list. That's the only reason. I... Man called Auto. No one said that. Yeah. I, I, no, no one. Nobody mentioned the Elvis movie. No yeah, one did. Somebody yeah. did. Just oh, one. Somebody did. Niecy oh, okay. did. I haven't yeah. seen it yet. Um, uh, extremely close and incredibly loud or whatever yeah. it was. Wasn't he in that? Yeah. No one said Finch. No one said uh, Pinocchio. No one said Pinocchio. Right. I heard Greyhound, it was terrible. Beard in the neighborhood. The what was the one that he went back to college? Not back to school. No yeah, one. Yeah, I don't. No one said. <laughs> oh, the, the circle. Ah, the circle. Then there was Inferno. Oh, was, Solly. Uh, Solly was actually mm-hmm. pretty good too. So, yeah. What was that one? Ithaca. Bridge of Spies. The Carly Ray Jepsen video. <laughs> I really liked. That you. was awesome. <laughs> Saving Mr. Banks when he played uh, Walt, Disney. Walt Disney himself. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, Cloud Atlas. No one wants to see that. I heard good things about it. Never saw it. It was actually pretty good. Electric City. It was a. That's the. A television so show. he did a lot. Extremely loud and, and incredibly close. Is it Larry Crown? Yeah, Larry that's Crown. it. Larry Crown. Okay. Yeah. Came to me. <laughs> and then he was also in the Pacific. Beyond he all. narrated the Pacific. Yeah. That was really Angels, good. Angels, Demons, The Great Buck Howard, Charlie Wilson's War. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 In Cars, he voiced the Woody Car. Oh, yeah, the Woody Man Car. In the cars. Re- was Man that in the only, that was only in the post credits of uh, yes. things. Um, bad idea of the week. Nobody said Saturday Night Live. David, S. no one said Bosom Buddies. <laughs> it's not movies. <laughs> but nope. I said they could still ties. Um, How about the Bosom Buddies pilot? Because it's kind of like a mini movie. Oh, is that an hour and twenty minutes? Sure. <laughs> no, it was twenty three minutes. Oh. Uh, bad idea of the week number two ninety two. Uh, join another fire festival with the one of the creators of the original. Don't do that. Don't do that. Stop doing fire festivals. <laughs> there you go. Uh, titles for the show? Stop watching Avatar. <laughs> Please. Let's okay. see. Titles. I had uh, Less Than Tom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that from last, last week. week. Right, sorry. Yeah. Uh, that, that, that's, an eight, that's your list of television yes, shows? Yes, yes. It ain't do any television we shows. It didn't do any. Uh, Still Dead. Uh, Responsible Killer. Spatula Hostage. Spatula Man, for our German listeners, I like to lick the knife. I think that's it. I had. I am now licking the plate. Oh. <laughs> Handsome little boy. Nope. Jason just made it weird. Nope. I'm not a lawyer. I just read social media articles. 
<laughs> I have. Have we been playing Frogger this whole time? Uh, I'm cheating on you with another podcast. Uh, three soups and a Kool Aid. Uh, spatula talk <laughs> and culinary rage. Uh, let's see. I also had handsome little boy. No, <laughs> no. I had to own it. I said it. I, I agree. It. That's fine. Uh, you look a little gamey. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill the dog. <laughs> Sacrifice your celly. I'm not a lawyer. I play one on Twitter. I'm not a scientist. I just play one on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> the anus flavor. Nope. That's it. Anyone real quick. Actually, you should pick the anus flavor and see if no. Casey can spell it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> the anus flavor. <laughs> Anyone real quick. What's the title? Um, have we been playing Frogger this whole time? There you go. You look a little gamey. I like you look a little gamey. Going with that. <laughs> I guess it's not a democracy anymore. He's the Supreme Chancellor. <laughs> I'm you... Lord Chancellor. Oh. Culinary Rage. I did like Culinary Rage. That's, that's but not... I, don't, I guess Jeff doesn't want it named after us eating him. Which is fair. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Fine, Culinary Rage. <laughs> Change approved. The Culinary Rage is not about eating Jeff. It's about using the wrong <laughs> spatula <laughs> in, in the nonstick pan. Don't people understand? <laughs> ah! Rogers. Well, we could just go with spatula talk. Cannibalism's okay, but don't <laughs> use the wrong spatula. <laughs> uh, cannibalism is okay. <laughs> An Army Hammer podcast. <laughs> Down the hall. Coming to Fox on <laughs> next spring. Hey, now you got a television go. show for your show. list. <laughs> <laughs> That's on Thursdays at 8 p.m. Right after Legal Custodians. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's right. A, an agent from the National Archives goes on a quest to track down <laughs> classified documents of president's past <laughs> and I, present. I feel like I would probably have liked legal custodians almost as much as I like scrubs. <laughs> it is a comedy. What is? <laughs> legal scrubs? Custodians? Yeah. yeah, well, yeah. So, so legal custodians was just a, like the joke that they played on scrubs with the yeah. janitor uh, and ted yeah where they just like played like the little like oh the snippet they, the, the like, guys in the corner yeah, and he's oh. a janitor he's a lawyer like it was, nah. um, i'll be honest uh fox those. on su- uh thursday nights has legal custodians at eight mm-hmm. campbellism is okay the army hammer story at 8 30 and then at nine less than tony i mean we're doing really well on thursdays that Army Hammer is only 30 minutes? Well, it's a, it's a series. Well, yeah, it's an ongoing it's a, it's a series. sitcom. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That Army, where's the maid? I don't know. That Army. <laughs> Roger says goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. I'm so- From Walking Dead to Talking Heads, from comic books to TV sets, there's a history. Not so bad, there's a history. It's the history of bad, so bad. The history of bad, it's bad. The history of bad ideas. Oh, yes. You've been listening to Hobie.